we're talking puppies now. Joining me back on Pet Corner is Yukonuba's Peter Sheasel to look at the nutritional needs of puppies. Good morning, Peter, and Good welcome, morning. Bear. Yes. I think the show's already been stolen by Bear. He Pretty much. is just adorable. So why is good nutrition so important for puppies? So out of an, a dog's entire life stage, that growth and development that they go through as puppies is a really crucial time. By the time they're six weeks old, they've all already developed 70% of their brain. So it's uh, it's quite important to have good nutrition. Yeah, it certainly is. Bear is just going, yeah, the limelight, this is definitely <laughs> this my is thing. This is it. I'm, it's my time to shine. Uh, so does it present a bit of a challenge to owners, sort of like, you know, with the, they haven't got their adult brain sort of fully formed, have they, and getting a lot to learn? Exactly. So it presents the challenge for the owners as well as the puppies. Yeah. As you say, their brain's still forming. They've got to learn things like how to walk on a lead, where to go to the toilet, um, and how to interact with uh, other humans and dogs. Yeah. So. And that is very, very important. How old is Bear? He is eight months. Oh, he's just delightful. He really is. So what defines good nutrition for puppies? <laughs> um, firstly, what, what do we need to feed them? So first of all, the most important thing is to have a balanced and complete diet. And that'll always say that on the bag as well. Yeah. Um, puppies have higher energy requirements than adult dogs, two to three times for their growing mm -hmm. growing bones and things. So some really good quality protein will help with those muscles, muscle development, keeping them lean and healthy. <laughs> and so how much should we actually be feeding them? Because they seem, some of them, some puppies just seem to want to eat all the time. Absolutely. So um, it's really important to follow the feeding guideline. They're there for a reason. And they'll um, guide you to whether they're a, a small or a large breed dog and, um, and what they need. So a small dog like Bear, for instance, um, has, with an adult weight of under 10 kg, mm -hmm. he uh, has a... <laughs> High metabolic rate, so needs higher energy. Okay. He's also got a smaller mouth, so he needs those little kibbles. Yeah. What happens if your puppy is overfed when they're little? Well, that's the thing. They can um, have skeletal problems and also gain that unwanted weight that will put more pressure on their bodies. Which is definitely not something that you want. No. You want them to be healthy and well for as long as possible. That's right. So I notice that you've got different size of puppy breed diets. I mean, there's a small breed up to a large breed. Why is that? That's right. So the adult weight will determine what um, what size of nutrition they need. So a small dog like like Bear here will be a um, a small breed diet yeah. dog, and uh, as I said before, he has higher higher metabolic rate, so we'll need a. Uh, High energy requirements for this growing little dog. Right, so the makeup of the food is actually different. Absolutely. So he'll be fully grown by the time he's sort of between eight and ten months old. Whereas, say, a bigger dog like a Labrador mm. won't be fully grown until they're a year and a half. And then our giant breeds, even up to two years, and they need to be staying on a puppy food for that long. What's a giant breed? What would you call a giant breed? Oh, like a big Great Dane a great or something. Dane. Yeah, mm, yeah, or Saint something Bernard big. Or something. Yeah, Saint Bernard, definitely. So I thought it was always just the size of the food for the, the breed size. I thought Not it was just like, all. you know, little ones for little dogs and bigger ones for bigger dogs. No, not at all. There's very different nutritional requirements for all of them. Living all the time. And should you feed them at the same time every day or how often should you feed yeah, them? Yeah, they do they do have a um a sort of expectation or to be fed. Fed and depending on their age and, and the dog's preference is how often you would feed them. Are there any other tips you have for us with puppies? Well <laughs> little oh, buddy's gonna feed them now isn't he? <laughs> he is. Thank you buddy. Um, as responsible owners, yeah. it's, uh, it's just really important to set them up for their futures. So yeah. giving them some good nutrition to get that started is just, uh, just like the way a to child. go. And obviously it's Guy Fawkes tonight. Um, keep yes, your pooches inside. that's right. Put on some other music, keep them entertained mm. and tire them out before... Uh, before things well, I haven't get said noisy. That, my dog never seems to mind oh. Thunder or Guy Fawkes. It's bizarre. She seems to be quite crazy with it. Hey, well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Bear. Yes, you are a star. Bear. You are a star. Yes, you absolutely are. You can come back anytime. Uh, and don't forget, <laughs> our Pet Corner sponsors, Yukonuba, are giving away to our cafe viewers a $20 voucher off your next purchase of Yukonuba dry food. To download the voucher, you can go to yukonuba.co.nz forward slash the cafe.